Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share, all of that would be very much appreciated. I always read my comments and I always reply. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action adventure series on Twin Flames based on my life. I've written two books in the series so far. It's called Perception, The Two Yet One, Books One and Two. You can find links to purchase my books from Amazon in the description box below. You can also find links to view trailers that I created for each of them. They give hints to the story. You can also find links to view videos that I am making. Uh, I am reading uh, book one aloud to my Facebook following and uploading them to YouTube. So you can hear me read my book aloud for absolutely free. Um, those links are also in the description box below. I've also uploaded uh, a couple of Facebook Lives that I did on my life story, my mission, why I'm doing all of this. Um, and also, if you are in need of a personal reading, I am offering those now too. The, the information for that is also in the description box. These readings are timeless. Whenever you are attracted to it is when it is right for you. This is the Celtic cross, cross spread. <laughs> um, I write, read it slightly differently than others. So I'll explain as I go. All right, so I, I find this so strange. Um, this card and the Queen of Cups have been in all three Earth signs uh, readings this week for me. And I really shuffled the bejesus out of these cards here. So I just find it so interesting that they do that. Just had to remark on that. All right, so the first uh, card that we read is what is at the heart of everything for you at this time? And here we have the Three of Wands. And this is um, an energy, for those of you who haven't been to my channel before, my cards, when they're upside down, it means the energy is not fully manifested. It doesn't have a different meaning. So it just means that this energy is beginning to manifest into your life. It is still a possibility. Fully manifested, what this is, this may have something to do with an Aries. Here we have the sun symbol, a circle and a dot is this, the symbol of the sun, which means that this would bring you a lot of happiness. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Now, what this represents is that you, first you get an idea, then you get the goal, and then you get the plan, you know, and then you get it going. You know, wands have a lot to do with, they are all about passion. They have uh, to do with your career or whatever you do during the day. And this is about teamwork. Okay. This is about a passionate set of teamwork here. This is some, this is the type of energy. This is applying your will and energy to your goal. And if you have a good team, it's like, there's nowhere that, I mean, you have all the energy it takes through this team. Look at the passion and the fire in this. Um, it has all, you'll have all the energy that it will take to, to get this goal accomplished. The next energy that we read is the energy that is directly affecting this, which is at the heart of everything for you at this time, Taurus. And here, this is air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, this is an ace. All aces represent new beginnings. Okay. And this one, these are always read right side up, by the way. This, um indicates that there will be a, a time of clarity. So right now, I see that this teamwork here, this, this fiery teamwork energy going on here, um, it's not fully manifested. So and because of this card, it's leading me to believe that there's some sort of confusion going on that isn't allowing it to fully manifest, okay? The clarity to understand what is going on is right here, okay? And... Um, here I always feel like this is also the sun. This is this is a crown, okay? But uh, it looks very much like the crown chakra to me. It looks uh, like the sun. This area right here also looks like a rising or setting sun. Um, this is the sword of Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is in this particular card, so you are protected when it comes to this endeavor this goal that you're trying to get done with your teammates here um, and this this clarity this sword cuts away all the confusion this is the sword of truth 
okay so there's a certain truth that's going to come out for you now what is at the root of everything is that you're feeling like giving up you're just like that's what the the eight of cups represents the only thing missing from the eight of cups is the two of cups okay and that would be you know the ten of cups would be like complete happiness okay but right now you're at a point where you you know you're starting to feel like you just want to give up maybe you've been sitting in this confusion for a while and now you just want to give up your emotions are starting to take over that's what cups are they're all about emotion they're all about intuition and you'll see that this you know this card is upside down so this isn't fully manifested so you're not if it was like this i would say okay you you're giving up you're you're sick of this but it's not you're starting to feel like maybe you want to just give up okay but I wouldn't because you're going to get some clarity here really soon. So just try to get a handle on your emotions. And um, this clarity will come in. Ask Archangel Michael to, to help bring that in, okay? Now the energy that we have on its way out of your life, this is energy that is moving out of your life. And this is um, moving forward is what I'm hearing, first of all. This can be a victory, yes. But this is you moving forward with the gusto that you can move forward with this three of wands with, okay? And this is moving out of your life at this time, but it's supposed to. For those of you who haven't been to my channel before, um, for me, Major Arcana cards represent energies that are part of your divine blueprint. And this is a Major Arcana card. This could have something to do with a Cancer. It doesn't have to. This is Cancer's card, okay? But this is um, movement forward that never happened. That's why it's upside down. It just never manifested. But because the universe chose to use this card, it's telling you that you didn't move forward yet for a reason. Okay? Please focus. Please focus. How about we do this? There we go. Yeah, so um, it never fully manifested because it wasn't supposed to happen. Okay? All right, so the next two energies for me as a reader are future cards. Okay, this is a more immediate future. And this is a future that will happen after this one. We read clockwise, so we read this one first. And here we have the energy of abundance, but not just abundance. This is love. Here we have another Cancerian energy right there. It's so tiny, I don't know if you can see that. But this is the card of Cancer, and this is also a card of Cancer. Okay? Now this is also a card of um, an emotional manifestation that creates a celebration. So if this isn't like a wedding or an anniversary or something, if this has to do with some sort of career endeavor or, you know, it could be something like planning a wedding and you don't, how to, you don't know how to get it done and, you, and you're feeling like giving up, then I would say don't worry about it. It's going to happen, okay? But for others of you, you're going to know what this is. This is a celebration. Okay, this is getting this teamwork thing here going. And, and, you know, because this, your more immediate future, is a major arcana card. This is the right side up energy of the magus. This is the magician. This is the energy of manifesting. He's right side up. Okay. And, oh, I'm being pointed out that this is mercury. Okay. There's also mercury right here. Right right there. Oh, they're so tiny. There we go. See? It looks like the Ankh with a little moon on the top. And these are connected because this is Mercury. Do you see? Right there. Same symbol. Okay? So you are going to manifest this. Okay? This is your happy celebration. A time to celebrate is coming because you are going to manifest once you get your clarity this is going to manifest for you and bring in your happiness. That's the sun right there. That's the sun right there. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So don't give up. And like I said, ask Archangel Michael to bring you the clarity that you need. If you're having, you know, you are having frustration. You, people forget all the time to ask the angels for help. That's what they're saying. People forget to ask. <laughs> Okay, so this is your hopes. This is wealth. I mean, look at that. The Ten of Discs. Wow, look at There's Mercury 
at the top again. You are being led by Mercury. He's also called Hermes. He's also called Thoth. This is the Thoth deck, whether you call him Thoth, 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 whatever you want to call him. To me, he says his name is Thoth, okay? Now, this is right side up. This is going to bring you what you're looking for. It could have something to do with a Virgo. It doesn't have to. But this is the Ten of Discs. This is your health and your wealth. This is a foundation of your family. It could be that you're hoping that your family will help you out here. It could be that you're just hoping to, this, like, if this is a business and you don't how to know, know how to get it going, you're hoping that it's going to bring you everything that you need for your family, for your inheritance. You can, this represents inheritance, whether it's through DNA or through wealth. Okay? So it's right side up, too. Oops, sorry about moving the table here. It's right side up. So your, hope, your hopes are manifesting this. That's what the magus is. When you, it's your thoughts that bring things in. Is the, the wisdom of both is telling you right now, okay? I don't know, is Mercury going retrograde anytime soon or something? There's something serious going on with Mercury in this reading here. And I'm, I'm not, not an astrologer, but I, I know, well, you might want to look this up, okay? Look up Mercury. What's up with Mercury right now? Because this is he is really leading you here, okay? And so this is manifestation, and when you are hoping for something, that's your thoughts. It's your thoughts that bring things in from absolutely nothing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, well, it seems like nothing. But people think it, it's nothing because it's such a, a subtle energy, where, whereas actually thought is the most powerful energy there is thought and love that our our thoughts through our love okay it's the idea nothing comes into this world without an idea first and it all starts in the ether it all starts where spirit is it's all it all starts as energy there is nothing other than energy so you have the idea and then you go oh okay and then you set your goal and then you're like okay well here's the plan to get there all right so the next thing you know, this is what you have. And so you'll see that this is fully manifested. So you're doing a great job with your manifestation here, Taurus. You've got all the manifestation powers that you need. You can bring this in. You will, in fact. You will be manifesting this happy ending over here, this, um, this reason for celebration. This is your... This is the energy that uh, is your environment, what's happening around you. There's a lot of reflection. If this is not a person in your life, you're reflecting on your emotions, you are getting control of your emotions. Uh-huh. Controlling your emotions. You want to give up, but you're not. Good job. Super good job, okay? That's what the Queen of Cups does. She's very much in control of her emotions. So, that's a really good job. Now, the next thing that we're looking at is your fear. And, you're, and this, is, this is the star. Our sun, which is in these cards as well. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. The sun is a star, is it not? So, this is the star. The star is our hopes and our dreams and our healing. And this is your fears. You're afraid that your hopes and dreams won't come true. But the universe chose to use this card in your fear section to tell you that your hopes and dreams can come true because you are the magician. And I'm hearing especially if you look up more on Mercury. Whatever you find on Mercury after this reading is really going to guide you. Okay, whether you look up the astrological sense of Mercury, whether you look up Mercury as Hermes Thoth, it's up to you what you're going to find out. And it's meant for you. And it's going to help you go ahead and manifest all your hopes and dreams coming true. This shows up as your fear as a major arcana card to show you that this fear, you were supposed to feel this fear of your hopes and dreams not coming true. What? I'm supposed to feel fear, Allison? Yeah. 
there's times if you know fear can be constructive because sometimes it just really makes you move in the other direction well you know i don't want my hopes and dreams to not come true so i'm going to work on them harder so i'm going to really investigate my energy because it isn't just physical work that brings things into my life i know this because i'm the magus taurus this is what you're thinking right Sometimes fear can really propel us. But the universe is saying, Taurus, yes, you're supposed to feel this fear, but turn this into your hope. This is the card of hope. You've got hope. You've got hope. It's going to be okay. Okay? Basically, that's what it's saying. Now, your outcome is... The princess of discs, earth energy, your energy, okay? She carries the ace of discs, this new beginning, this, this divine seed to be planted. The beginning after the clarity comes. This is pregnancy, conception, a beginning, a birth of something that brings beautiful love. Okay, this could, if this is, some of you Taurus out there might want to get pregnant. There you are. Baby shower. Manifesting something from nothing. That's a pregnancy, that's for sure. Family. Controlling your emotions because you know that you, you don't want to give up. You may be having a hard time conceiving you're going to find out why. Okay? That's just for like one or two of you maybe. Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to find out. But yep, it's going to work. It's coming. Allow your hopes. Right now she's just a possibility. Okay? Right now this is a possibility. It has everything to do with your thoughts and your energies to make these cards flip and become fully manifested reality, okay? And a reason to celebrate. Okay, so Taurus, let's see what's on, oh, yes. An underlying energy, you have the eon. This is judgment, this is now, this is the time. It's time. This also suggests resurrection. Resurrection of your hopes and dreams. Okay? This was upside down. Resurrection of true hope. Okay? And let's see what else is under there. You might worry a little bit, but it's unfounded. Okay? It's not fully... Oh, and there's your happiness. Fully manifested. Don't let your worries manifest anything. Worry. There's Mercury again. Mercury is all over you. And then you'll be able to move forward with determination. Oh my goodness. And then all you'll have full control of your mind. And you're going to cut away all the modes of thinking that do not serve you anymore. You will get, you'll get control of how your mind works. And you'll have sudden movement forward that brings you every, all this happiness. Taurus, you got this. Okay. Now, how much of this is in your control? For me as a reader, the, the major arcana represents... Um, your divine blueprint, which is basically like destiny and no, and, and your major, I'm sorry, bleh, minor arcana represents your will as a person, as a being. Know that your choices, your free will can take you different places, but you will still have these energies of destiny, no matter which choice you take. You are still here to learn certain things, okay? So your free will is very powerful. But you still have certain lessons 
that you signed up for in this life. And so they are like destiny. Okay, I hope that was clear. Now, the amount of control you have over this situation, I can determine by the number of major arcana to minor arcana. And you have one, two, three. Three out of ten cards means that you have most of the control over this. You've got this right side up magician, this right side up celebration. These are fully manifested. These two futures are going to happen. The only thing that would stop these from happening is you. Okay? Wow, this was an awesome reading, Taurus. That's what I have for you at this time. See you next time.